Welcome, I'll be reacting to Black Sales, Season 1, Episode 2. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original on stars. Oh my, I can't show this, but what an opening scene. What a view, too. Both views. All the views. I love this show so much. <laughs> Man of War was spotted yesterday. Royal Navy. Then they blockade the island, choke off trade. Max could be your partner. There is no finer host in the world. Yeah, make Max your partner. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Well, they said they could recreate it from the logs. It will just take more time. We don't and of course, John knows what's up. John, do you have a plan? Oh. Ow. Ooh. Someone did not know how to dive off a ship. He moved on Flint, I responded. And what did that accomplish? It made me feel better. <laughs> Eleanor, you'd empty our reserves to purchase one. Scrap of paper someone told you may be worth something. They have no reason to lie to me. They have 5,000 reasons to lie to you. Or are we to sit here patiently, waiting for Eleanor Guthrie to arrive? I know Long John Silver. He is a clever one. He has a plan. We meet at the boat in the cove and leave tonight. Unless there's something else keeping you here. I think she really does care about Eleanor. Half our profits go to you. First. <laughs> but the more you earn, the better the terms. Well, perhaps you'll find me more of a match than that other craven bastard. James Bridge of the Demeter. Charles Vane of the Ranger. <laughs> Hasn't been given the same kind of information from you about potential prizes that we once did. I would like to return to that. I'll bet you would. For as much money as they bring in, they cause twice as much damage. They're fucking animals. You encourage it. <laughs> as I explained, this is the work of Adrian Hanman, a masterwork, unmistakably. This is an abomination. To suggest that the value of one... <laughs> I love how they keep bringing paintings into this show. Feet, feet, pets, pets. I love this town. I'm so glad you're entertained. I'm sorry, weren't we supposed to be looking for the cook? Fruit, pets, pets, plant, plant. <laughs> Why are we following the appraiser? Because if I'm this cook and I want to sell the schedule and leave this place a rich man, I need two things. I need a boat and I need a method of payment. Uh -huh. Sure I can't suck your cock while you do that? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> no. Use my hand. Sing you a song. Something worth paying money for. Let me tell you a story. About a Spaniard oh, here named Vasquez. <laughs> she might listen, though. Once he sees the pouch with the seal unbroken, he will hand over the page. She doesn't have your page. Flint does. He killed Singleton, took it off his body. Tell me the truth. Do you have a, a, a candlestick or perhaps a yeah, heavy shoe? Oh, oh, I love her. <laughs> now, will you please put her down so we can complete our transaction? <laughs> Did he lose his eye? Is he okay? John? We could add 50 guns to the fort. We could build ships to defend our shores and train new men to sail them. Then whoever arrives on our shores first, be it England or Spain, will be in for a most unwelcome surprise. Everything's under control. We're close to recovering it. Vane just met with Fraser at the brothel. I sh she knows it's Max. Eleanor, now's your time to get the page yourself. Scott can protect you. You have to trust me. Be with me. It's all I have. I can't just walk away. It is not all you have. He cannot love you back. 
You know this, you must know this. I will never, ever leave you. I love you. Oh. And it can start this very minute. All you have to do is say yes. I would say yes. She won't though. Come in. I want her to say that she will sit there and watch as you beat the answer out of me to save this place. Say it. The Rex that's on down. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty big betrayal. Bear McCreary is hitting it out of the park right now with the soundtrack, of course. What a location. I wonder where they filmed this. I don't think it's a set. He says, you give me the pulse. You want your money, you show your fucking face! That's the only way this gets done! But that doesn't change the fact that unless we give this fellow the yeah! pulse... <gasps> oh my. <laughs> he found someone else. He says, you give me the pulse. I have no idea who is going to end up with the schedule, but my money is on Eleanor somehow. One thing that I would be inclined to do in his situation is to find a piece of paper similar to the logbook, or when I went to check on the logbook, I would have ripped out another page and then copied what I saw on the original page on the new page. Then you can sell to multiple buyers. I'm surprised nobody even considered that. You think at least Max would have thought of that. Oh, is he going to memorize it and then burn it? That's another good plan. Then they need him alive. Like the Citadel in Star Wars Clone Wars. They memorized the new hyperspace routes and then destroyed it. So you have the coordinates for the Nexus route. I erased the computers when we were boarded and had both of us memorize part of the intel. I think he's a goner. No? Where's the page? You can't have it. It's in here. Well, I couldn't be certain I would escape both the madman and you, so I took drastic measures for the sake of my survival. Mr. Noonan has many of door. I think Guthrie's put three more downstairs. Vane can't get to you here. But I cannot stay. Your friend is cool. Just has random swords everywhere. It's a very melancholy version of the Skyboat song. I like it. I know it's an actual song from the time period. However, I also think they threw that in as an Easter egg for Outlander. So it both serves the purpose as background music and for people to go, ha ha ha. Take off your boots. I'll boil some water. And who is this new character? Oh, they're not going to tell us. Sometimes pilot episodes make things a little bit steamier and more interesting than the rest of the series, just to draw people in. Stargate SG-1, I'm looking at you. I don't think that's the case here. It's going to make the editing of these episodes really fun because every single scene I was like, does everyone have their bodice on in the background for YouTube? Lots of pausing and zooming in. And this episode is going to have the same problem. I say problem, but it's not really, because I kind of like it. The writing continues to be just action adventure. Everyone has their own agenda. They're all cutthroat pirates. Arr. You're not really on anyone's side either. I'm just kind of sitting here with my popcorn watching the mayhem unfold. <laughs> If I had to choose someone though, it would be Max. But honestly, I think everyone is really interesting and doing what they think is right for what they need. 
And we still haven't seen the British yet. I kept thinking they would show up at the end of the episode, but I'm guessing it's the next one. And then, of course, we know Flint's crew finds the treasure, but I feel like this show can pretty much do whatever it wants and add twists how it needs to, so I'm not entirely sure. And I like the fact that I'm not. So far, I really enjoy all the locations and sets that they're finding. All those scenes looking out on the water, even the brothel with all its tropical plants and everything. I wish I knew the name of Max's friend. I can't Google it because I would run into spoilers, but if you know her name, if you could just put it in the comments, that would be really helpful. If this show keeps on the way it is, it might be becoming one of my favorite shows of all time. <laughs> I love it.